What's going on? In today's video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes with me and show you how I shoot a commercial video for one of the clients that I have out here. To give a little context, this is a client that does medical treatments here in this Atlanta area. However, just to let you know that most of this is staged. These are not real patients and these are not real procedures taking place. We shot this entire video to show the behind the scenes for potential patients that actually are coming in. I will tell you this as well. The camera is a little bit shaky here. It's a little bit different than the videos that you see before. It's more raw. Well, do shout out to the photographer that was with me that did take the behind the scenes. He didn't have to, but I'm so grateful that he did. So you guys can actually see the process. So just make sure you grab a pen, sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. Come on in, come on in. Again, you guys still don't know each other too much. And when that door opens, I'm just gonna follow you guys in, okay? What you can see here, what I'm doing is actually talking to the clients just to make sure that they're aware of what I'm doing. This is a common thing for me to make sure that you are explaining exactly what you are doing. So they're not in the dark as far as what's gonna happen next. Whenever it's The other thing that I would say is make sure that you just keep a sense of humor. It doesn't always have to be that serious. Make sure you crack a couple of jokes and just let them know that you're human that's holding the camera. That's good. Yes. All right, now coming in, hold on one sec. So basically when you're filming, you wanna film in sections as far as you wanna film in the scenes. These scenes could be completely out of order, but they'll all come back together in the edit. I'll show you a clip of what it looks like up to the point of what we're filming here. Scene one will be coming in, entering the elevator, and about to enter in to the actual office facility itself. So let me give you a shot of what it looks like. So now we're in scene two. And as you can see back in scene one, I had them stop. I wanted to show them coming up to the door and I had them stop because now I wanna get on the other side. Now, usually if it's a big film crew, you would just clearly have somebody on the other side of the camera. But in this case here, being that you're kind of moving solo and you're running on a somewhat of a tight timeline. Again, I just had them stop while we reset on scene two. And scene two would just show them entering the door and then going to the seats. So this is how it looks. And as you can see here, I'm getting B-roll after I already got the shot because this B-roll is what I'm gonna use later. Now, a couple of things that you did not see was that we did take multiple angles on scene two as they're entering in to give more of a perspective on what it looks like on all angles as you're entering into the building. We got some creative shots, we got some standard shots. So right now I'm just setting up a shot, just getting some B-roll, some establishing shots because you never know when you're gonna need that as well. And those shots that you just have your own section of B-roll within the folder that you're creating this entire project is what you're gonna pull on later because you'll need that. So in this scene here, even when I was getting the B-roll shots, I really loved the fact that there was a partition between the reception area, the office area, and the waiting room. Ideally, what happened was the reception area was the main barrier between where a person just can't walk into the back and then it was a door on the side. But that transition point was perfect. Of course, we wanted to use that. So again, that wall, if you find anything when you're on set that is really creative and it'll give a really great angle as far as moving through a wall, definitely go for it. Because again, I really like the way this shot came out. 
I was explaining to the nurse, hey, just go ahead and go through the actions as far as what you would do if it was a real patient standing in front of you. We want to get that on tape to make sure that the patient is aware of what it would be like, what's gonna happen once they come into the clinic. Uh, Now you're looking at him, you're going to show him what he's going to be doing. Yeah, you're going to read the eye chart from the top, as far down as you can get. Here, again, we're showing the entire process for this gentleman, and we're actually going a step further, showing when he enters in to the waiting room, what's gonna happen. So it's giving that overall arch of like what you're going to go through when they enter in. Let's continue on. So for this particular shot, basically what was happening, we were following one of the female patients into the locker room just to show the process to when you're entering in the locker room what it has in the locker rooms. But we also want to focus in on the fact that they had to take off their earrings, take off any type of makeup, take off any other type of jewelry and watches and such. You're not allowed to have those things on when you're entering into the procedure. This will be led on the video with a voiceover explaining the things that you can and you cannot do before you enter into procedure. So this is just an overall view of what it actually looks looks like. So in scene six, now I want to go ahead and just showcase again that we're getting more establishing shots because we'll need that later. And with me, when I'm getting B-roll, I just like to have my camera on wide as possible. I usually start wide, then I would focus in on a particular thing within that wide shot to give some type of variance in the cut to when I'm editing the video later. I would say this as well, shout out to Tilta and this Tilta rig that I have. It's a vest that really takes the weight off this gimbal, off my shoulders or my arms. Everything just was manufactured correctly here. No, this is not sponsored, but again, this is a product that I use every single time. I don't know what I'll do without it. This is more B-roll. Again, it's really removing any questions that the patient may have. And this is my job when I'm coming in as the videographer, if they're explaining like, hey, this is what we need to showcase, it's my job to make sure I, I am showcasing that. And this is exactly where we meticulously went through each process and made sure we documented each process. And this is what you guys see here. Now the scene seven is fun. This is when we actually enter into the hyperbaric chamber and we just wanted to simulate what will happen or what you will see when you go on. I asked the actors here to just have a conversation inside the room, uh, just showing that you can actually have a conversation, you can actually sit, you can actually relax as you're entering into this chamber. So let's move on to the end, which is one thing that I always highly recommend. If you own a business, you have videos done. If the videographer's company has the capacity to do it and they do this as well, is to grab headshots of all the people that are working on that particular video if they're staff. In this case, this is exactly what we did so they can have on their website and they can also have it for their personal if they need to do anything as far as updating anything as far as LinkedIn and such. So let's check this out. Oh, that's 
That's it. All right. Next one up. Sorry. All right. No, you're cool. And this big smile. She's got her number. Oh, really? Good job. Got it. All right. That's it. That was it. Good job. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Good job. I got you. All right. Did I miss anyone? All right, so there you have it. I have taken you along with me behind the scenes as I'm working with a commercial client and just showing how we put together a ton of the videos that they'll actually use. Now, all of the shots that we got here was dispersed amongst 12 different videos. Of course, we put together some facility videos and some different videos and these B-roll, these shots that we took were incorporated in all the different videos that we did afterward so this is one of the strategies that i highly recommend for you videographers out there if you are shooting a corporate client and shout out to the i should say the producer on this one she was a genius when she came together to make sure that all the videos were in line with all the b-roll that we needed to catch and we hopped in and we executed accordingly i'm so glad that you guys had the opportunity to check this out just make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video and please make sure you share this with someone that you know that may be up and coming in the business or they just want to figure out how things are done especially if they're just rolling by themselves my name is jay i am an entrepreneur here in the atlanta area and owner of jay august media where we shoot weddings we shoot corporate and we do a whole lot of things in between just make sure you keep those cameras clicking until next time